So it's been a while since the last discussion station, and I do have plans to talk about other elements in Thomas besides episodes, but maybe not right now. I think I'll eventually get to talking about them, but for now, let's talk about another episode. There are so many amazing episodes in Thomas. Some stick out within the fandom like Grand Puff, The Flying Kipper, Edward's Exploit, the list is endless, but there are episodes out there that deserves more attention and love. There are so many episodes I love and I do consider underrated. Edward, Trevor and the Really Useful Party is a heavily underrated gem, as is Duncan and the Grumpy Passenger, The Missing Breakdown Train, Salty Secret, Mavis, Train Stops Play, so many more I can mention. But of all the episodes, the one I would say is the most underrated episode, in my personal opinion, is Thomas Goes Fishing. This is a funny little story with a fun plot with it. I'm positive that everyone and their grandparents who have watched Thomas has seen this episode, but I'll explain the plot anyways. Thomas sees people fishing on his branch line and he becomes interested with it. One day, they go to the river to get water because the water tower is out of use. The crew fill Thomas's tanks, but as they travel on, Thomas gets into Agni and is taken out of action. While an inspector and the fat controller attend to the matter of Thomas's pain, they find the issue in his tanks, and it's fish. So they solve the matter by fishing in Thomas's tanks, and when the fish is all out, they treat themselves to fish and chips. Thomas now knows that fishing isn't for engines, and it's very uncomfortable. It's a simple bedtime-like story this episode, yes, but gosh darn it, I love it. And it all comes down to one thing, the humour. This is a funny episode, but it's not a laugh out loud episode, just a humble funny situation that actually gives you a little smirk on your face. I love Ringo's narration here, especially when they are inspecting Thomas. I love how the inspector climbs up to look in Thomas's tanks and just comes back down and asks the fat controller to look inside and tell him what he can see. You can tell he's like, what? I need someone else to see this and ensure I'm not seeing things. It's also my favourite episode to quote. I can't tell you how many times I have seen fish and just gone to whoever is with me at the time and just said, can you see fish? But what makes this episode is Thomas. Thomas's experience with fish for the first time here is a highlight and amusing. Thomas is fascinated when he sees people fishing, but he can't do it because he's a steam engine, a machine. He does not have hands or arms. He gets his chance without even knowing it. The driver gets water from the river, but all are unaware that they've got fish on board now. This causes problems for Thomas as his feed pipe gets blocked and it's discovered there's fish in his tanks. After they are all out, Thomas declares fish isn't for engines. It's funny when you understand it from Thomas's point of view and take into consideration that he is a steam engine and can't do things humans can do. When humans fish, they can take the fish with them or throw them back into the water. I've never actually done fishing, but I have done crabbing, so sort of similar in a way, but I have been told that's what you can do. Anyways, Thomas, from a train's perspective, discovers that if an engine goes fishing and keeps the fish, it causes the engine pain and causes a blockage, so now he's left with a dislike for fish. And what's funny in later seasons, they stick to Thomas having a dislike for fish. In seasons 4 fish, Thomas tells Duck to be careful about fish as he re-encounters his past and points out that fish can be smelly. In season 5 something in the air, at the start of the episode, a crate of fish lands on Thomas and he is not happy about it. Come season 7 something fishy, Thomas is testing out the new line by the fishing village and moans about working with fish. Then comes season 8, Thomas has to help Arthur take fish and he is not thrilled about it. These episodes are so much more fun, 
when you understand why Thomas has a gross taste in his mouth for fish and you look back at season 1 understanding why. I am shocked that the CGI seasons didn't even do an episode with Thomas disdain for fish. For some reason, they made James be the one who hated fish. It's something I'll never understand to be honest, but it does make Thomas's dislike for fish feel special to the model era of the show. I'm pretty sure this is a complaint by saying, wouldn't the fish be fried in Thomas's boiler and wouldn't be swimming around in Thomas? Steam engines use water to get heat to make steam with coal by its side. Yes, that is true, but regardless, the fish in Thomas's tank, still swimming or not, still would have caused a blockage. If there's something that isn't water in the steam engine, then it will cause trouble regardless what happens to it. I'm not sure if this is an episode that Wilbert was told about on a railway, or if this episode was based on an event on real life where some fish did get stuck in an engine's water tank, I don't know. Regardless, I think this episode deserves more attention. You're not going to be wowed by it, and it's nowhere like Cranky Bugs, The Runaway Elephant or Put Upon Percy, but it's a sweet, funny story, one that I do now have in my top 10 favourite episodes of all time. It's an episode that I've really grown to love so much more as I have gotten older, for its plot, Thomas's experience, its humour, and how everything played out here. Thomas Goes Fishing is, in my opinion, the most underrated episode of the whole series. And I hope with this video, the episode gains some new love for the episode, but only time will tell. No, sir, I won't, said Thomas sadly. Engines don't go fishing. It's too uncomfortable. <laughs>